Here on Ray's 128 gigabyte image. You want to be uh, connected to the Wi-Fi. You can see I updated 4.1.19 12 days ago. I also um, backed up my image, so if anything does go wrong, I can always just reboot this thing up. I am currently connected to Wi-Fi. You're going to want to go ahead and get to Wi-Fi if you're not connected already. And to get to 4.2, we're just going to go update RetroPie script. And in my previous video, people were like, oh, you can't just do this to update. Yeah, you, absolutely, you can do this. I just wanted to make a video showing you how to start 4.2 from scratch because some people might want to just, might be just getting into it and start from scratch where it's very easy to do this, right? And they were just going to go to update all installed packages, okay? And this is going to update every single package on your Pi. And I have a lot of packages <laughs> installed on this Pi, so, or on this image. And, uh, so it's going to take a little bit of time. So we'll let that run. Um, I think the biggest question is, will this mess up a track mode or not? I hope not. Uh, it is possible. And we will see shortly. So 4.2, updated 26 days days ago, 26 hours ago. And uh, let's go ahead and exit. Uh, this all looks fine so far. I think people are really worried about A, Final Burn Alpha, because it has an older ROM set on there. So let's do like uh, Metal Slip, right? Because everyone likes that game. And if you don't like that game, you should like that game. Might as well. Final Burn Alpha 2012. Down my port. This is normal. There we go. Just takes a little bit of time to get started. And as you see, we're good, right? So that worked just fine. I never have issues with that. Uh, another one is bootleg, JAMA. I don't know which one worked. Let's try this one. Oh, very cool. I didn't even know this was on this image. What the hell? Look at that. Shumasha, you do dress boldly. You, on the other hand, leave too little to imagination. Hey, shut your mouth. You'll get bombed. Oh, shit. People about to get bombed. It's more like I am about to get bombed. Get some combos in this. It's fine. It might be that you just need to do Final Burn Alpha 2012. Or you can update the ROM set as well. Um, if you want to just use the regular Final Burn emulator as well. Yep. Street Fighter 2. Hand release. Okay, Hyper Fighter. So, as you see, it works. Come on, E Honda. Are you can a little bit lag on the sound? There we go. Are you can got him? So let's go back into track mode. Here's going to be the moment of truth when we click this button right here. We start in a track mode. <sighs> Breathe. Three, two, one. All right, guys, this is looking good. All right, so as you saw, we have everything here. We already tested Final Burn Alpha, so let's just go ahead and test Nintendo 64, maybe. It's usually a good system to try, and a PlayStation, maybe. Look at them lined up. Uh, 
Okay, we got three cops now. See what's going on here. I think that's a cop coming up my way right now. No! Oh! <laughs> Where'd that cop from? Okay. Alright, so uh, what did we say? PlayStation works? All right. The other thing we want to do is intense four. So I'm pretty sure this works. This is one of the games that work. So here we go. We'll be Mickey. Michael, let's go. So a lot of games are a little laggy in the menus, but once you play them, they're pretty good. Like for example, Toy Story. You could totally play Toy Story for intense four on the pie, and then with a the slight overclock, it's even better. Those facial expressions you guys are doing, this is like. What? I just lost my wheel? Yes. That's great. The optimal amount. The rumble pack does work in this game, by the way. Whoa! Oh. That helped a lot. Clap one. Clap two. Swell! So this is uh, appropriate for children of all ages. Oh, get wrecked, Goofy! And I got this power up. Right all right. So there you guys have it. Let's just go back, go back, go back now. Raise 128 gigabyte image that fits on 128 gigabyte SD cards. There's some 128 images out there that do not, uh, or they need to be shrunken. This one does fit. What have I done to this image? I've made videos about it in the past, but I took the stock raise image, I updated all the scripts, I updated a track mode, I added the new artwork file, and then I recently just updated 4.2. That's all I did to this specific image. You could do that all yourself, or uh, I'm about to release a, a review for another image that just came out that's pretty good. The only part, and it's, it's an updated raise as well. It's not the MLP one, it's another one that's really good and it has all those updates that I just mentioned done to it already. The only thing is that the guy who made it, it's too big for a 128. You need a 200 gigabyte SD card. So uh, as much as it has the advantages and the work done for you, it's like 128 gigs total. So like you're gonna lose a couple gigs on a 128. A 128 only comes with like 119 gigs. So uh, that, that's kind of a shame. You can possibly shrink it as well. Anyways, back to this part, which is you can update Rays to 4.2. You can add the Sega Saturn emulator and all the other cool stuff that comes along with the 4.2 update. It will not brick your image. Um, just a little word of caution, though. I don't know what it is, but I have updated my image before and just everything went to, to crap. So I don't know if I messed with something while it was updating or maybe one of the updates did, didn't fetch correctly. I don't know. There's probably somebody that knows what, what could go wrong during an update. But um, that's why it's always important to back up your image. And you can see I made a video about that not too long ago. So definitely back up your image, especially if you've made changes to it. If you're running the stock raise, you just go back to stock. It's not a big deal. But if you've done some updates like me, which where I'm up to like 4.1.19, and I'll probably back it up again when it gets to like 4.2.5 or something like that. We'll see. Um, as long as I have um, I have a backup within the last couple months, you know, that's that's pretty good. I hope you like this video. I know a lot of you are asking for it, so here you go. If you could, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We've got more videos coming out, and we'll see you guys on the next one.